welcome to the webinar on the road to prosperity vision for highways and expressways in india being organized by construction world and swarajya and we are happy to have amongst us the keynote speaker shri honorable shri nitin gadkari thank you sir for gracing this webinar honorable minister shri nitin gadkari ji the current minister for road transport and highways and the minister of micro small and medium enterprises in the government of india is a man well known for his constructive criticisms and his love for innovation and thinking out of the box the minister earlier served as the president of the bjp from 2009 to 13 he is also known for his work as the public works department minister of the state of maharashtra where under his leadership a series of roads highways and flyovers across the state were constructed including the mumbai pune expressway india's first six lane concrete high speed express expressway he has all along been a strong proponent of road building for prosperity he was instrumental in moving rural connectivity in maharashtra to connecting over 13000 remote villages by road then today he is championing the cause of innovation in construction use of innovative building materials use of biofuels and electric vehicles welcome sir welcome to our webinar we would like to what we would like you to give your few opening remarks and then we would like to ask you a few questions so you need to unmute yeah shri hari reddy cube hairways श्री प्रसन्न विश्वनाथन स्वराज्य फाउंडेशन श्री प्रताप पटोड़े कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्ल्ड श्री हार्दिक अग्रवाल डी आर ए इंफ्राकॉन ऑल डिस्टिंग्विश गेस्ट इन्वाइटीज एंड ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स लेडीज एंड जेंटल इंडिया हैज अबाउट फोर्टी फोर फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट एट टू लैक किलोमीटर ऑफ रोड नेटवर्क विच इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड इन टर्म ऑफ लैंथ national highways constitute about 2% of the total road network but carry about 40% of the total road traffic in the country our honorable prime minister has set a vision for india to become 5 trillion dollar economy in next 5 years in line india is targeting a fresh investment about 1.4 trillion dollar that is rupees 111 lakh crore in this 5 years on infrastructure through national infrastructure pipeline Rupees 20 lakh crore is allocated for the development of road sector. Emirates road performance is very good. The target for construction in first year 21 is 11,000 kilometer, which translates to about 30 kilometer per day. Despite the impact of COVID-19. the achievement in construction for the 10 month period from april 20 till january 21 of 8745 km is higher than 7925 km achieved in the 10 month period from april 19 till january 20 similarly the target for award in 2021 is 10000 km and the actual award in the current financial year till january 21 of 7602 km is significantly higher than 3509 km awarded in the previous financial year till january 2020 updated status of construction and award of nhi still 24 february 21 construction 9990 km it is approximately coming to 10000 km and award coming to 8192 km my ministry has created a record a record by constructing 534 km of national highway in the second week of january itself i am hopeful with such a pace we could will be able to cross construction target of 11000 km by end of march uh actually my target was 40 km per day and uh, Yesterday, when I was inquired about it, it was coming to something thirty kilometer. So I am hopeful that end of March end we will hundred percent complete a forty kilometer per day 
that will be the previous record. <coughs> Actually, this can be a great achievement for NHI and for the ministry because this is very important. And actually, before five years, I uh, declared that we will try to achieve this goal. My aim is to construct over 60,000 kilometer highways in the next five years at the rate of 40 kilometers per day. The finance minister has proposed enhanced outlay of rupees 1.18 trillion for the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway, of which rupees 1.8 trillion is for capital, thereby strengthening and expanding road development. Such initiative would expedite much needed cycle of infra investment, growth and employment generation in the country. The road sector has huge potential to review the economy and scope to have liquidity in the market. NHI is a AAA rating company. I am targeting the investment of rupees 25 lakh crore in road development sector. I don't have any problem as per the resources are concerned. The most important challenge with the NHI and the ministry is to land acquisition, utility shifting, environment forest clearance. These are the most important thing by which we can expect the speed of the roads. A part of that funding will be from monetization of existing assets. And we have taken a decision to making a small packages. Previously, there was big packages, but because of small packages, we are getting good price. At the same time, Indian entrepreneurs and investors now are giving good response. This is the field where a lot of people can participate and where is a good, good, achieve, a good uh, attractive opportunity for them. And over a try, uh, we are trying our level best to make the packages less than 1000 crore. So it can be easily possible for the Indian contractor investor to invest in it. A part of the funding will be from monetization of existing assets. On road connectivity, significant work is being done under the Golden Quadrilateral Project NHDP program, Bharat Mala Pariyojana, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadek Yojana, and Sagar Mala project. The Bharat Mala project for the highway sector was rolled out in 1718. 34,800 kilometers of national highways, including about 10,000 kilometers of balance work of NHDP are to be constructed under phase one of the program between 1718 to 2122 in a phase manner at an estimated cost of rupees 5,35,000 crore. This includes 5,000 kilometers of the national corridors, 9,000 kilometers of economic corridors, and 6,000 kilometers of feeder corridors and inter corridors and 2,000 kilometer of border road, 2,000 kilometer of coastal roads and port connectivity roads and 800 kilometer of greenfield expressways. Total 65,000 kilometer length of road to be developed under Bharat Mala Pariyojana, connecting 550 districts with four lane highways. With development of 50 economic corridors, it has aimed to ship 80% of freight on national highway it will generate 14.2 crore man days of employment. Roads built will increase vehicle traveling speed by around 20-25%, thereby helping reduce travel time and logistic cost. Implementing alternate instruments like monetization of existing asset through INVIT, TOT, SPV formation, etc. for enabling wider investor participation. Introducing new PPP models, TOT, Toll, HAM, and TOT to provide for more rational risk sharing in the PPA for incorporating certain long waiting demands of the stakeholders in the road development sector. The model concession agreement for BOT toll project have been amended to address investor concern, which includes better project, preparedness, revenue protection, and cash flow management. Similarly, for hybrid NOT model project, allowed for 100% equity disinvestment after six months of construction and competition or an interest rate has been linked to more realistic market market rate. 100% fast tag is mandated at the toll plaza. Average daily toll collection increased by 50% and it facilitates seamless traffic movement. Actually, uh, Monday, I'm going to inaugurate a special software developed by one of the entrepreneurs where we'll get the every minute to minute information on every toll naka, how much delay is there, real time. So this is really exactly the great achievement by which we can understand where is the problem. So using of technology is very important. 
and also we are planning to use this uh, GPS system by which it will be seamless traffic and there will be no toll naka by which we can get giving people a great relief. And exactly this is very important and we are actually offering all this service to the state government also. I will request Mopal Varji to consider this for Maharashtra also because this can reduce the problem and they will get their toll. There will be no problem. Even for Mumbai and Akpur Express Highway, they can think about it. And we are ready to give you consultancy and everything free of charge to the state government of Maharashtra. 100% fast tag is mandated at all toll plazas. Average daily toll collection increased by 50%. It facilitates seamless traffic movement. The government is also permitting 100% foreign direct investment FDI in the road sector. There is an opportunity to, for joint ventures. Dispute resolution procedure has been streamlined to avoid litigations. Extensive adoption of digital portal Bhumi Rashi to expedite and streamline the land acquisition process. 90% land to be provided before appointment date to reduce congestion on corridors, enhance logistic efficiency and reduce logistic cost of freight movements. 35 locations have been identified for development of multimodal logistic parks, MMLP. I have already done foundation laying for first MMLP Jogi Jopa in Assam and other in Nagpur, Chennai, Surat, Bangalore, Varanasi being expedited. 15 cities were shortlisted for de de development of international stations to ease passenger movement. Government is developing 22 Greenfield Express Highway around 2,500 kilometers and access control corridors around 5,500 kilometers with a total length of 7,700 kilometers as a part of Bharat Mala Pariyojana at a capital cost of 3.32 lakh crore. Out of this, 2,950 kilometers has al already been awarded and the rest will be awarded in the next financial year and this corridor will be completed before 25. Even uh, I am confident that we will complete it before that. Our Manoj Kumar is there. His contribution and participation for making of Delhi Mumbai Express Highway is very, very marvelous. And already six or seven green express highway is dealing with the, that express highway. And I'm confident that within one year or a one and a half year, we will complete that. So now we are making Delhi to Dehradun, Delhi to Katra, Chennai to Bangalore, then uh, go in Gujarat. So I got the list of it, I will tell you. So this is a, this can be really a great achievement for the ministry. So out of 2,950 kilometers has already been awarded and the rest will be awarded in the next financial year. These corridors will be completed before 24. SPV, special purpose vehicle owned by NHI has been formed for financing construction operation of Delhi Mumbai Green Express Highway. 1,240 kilometer green alignment, reducing travel time to 13 hours. Project cost is approximately 1 lakh crore. India's first 14 lane highway, Delhi Merit Express Highway, is going to be inaugurated soon. Because of railway, there is delay. Only two ROB, there are problems, but I am confident that before end of June, we will inaugurate this. Then Bangalore Chennai Express Highway 278 km will be initiated in the current financial year. Construction will begin in first year 22. Total capital cost for this express highway is rupees 20,799 crore. Delhi Dehradun Economic Corridor. This is 210 km. From Delhi to Dehradun, it will be within two hours. So it's access control highway. It will be initiated in the current financial year and construction will begin in 22. Total capital cost for this corridor is rupees 12,309 crore. Amrutsar Jamnagar. The construction will commence in 2022. Total capital for this, uh, the cost for this corridor is rupees 4,000 crore for Amrutsar Batinda section and rupees 18,500 crore for Sanchor Satalpur section. Then Delhi Katra, Delhi Amrutsar Katra construction will commence in 22. Total capital cost for the express highway is 30,936 crores. As a part of national infrastructure pipeline, 1,820 number of national highway projects are being taken up for the development by 24-25 with a length of 89,000 
300 kilometer at a total estimated cost of rupees 19.35 lakh crore. It is approximately comes to 20 lakh crore. Out of this 86 number of projects with a length of 4,414 crore or total estimated cost rupees 30,000 crore have been completed. And 1,059 number of projects with 44,090 kilometer length at an investment of rupees 6, 6 lakh 6.70 lakh crore are in progress. Project with the length of 48,000 kilometers are planned to be developed by NHI as a part of NHI's National Infrastructure Pipeline till uh, 2025. We have framed green highway policy where plantation has been carried out along with highways to sue ecology and environment. I am not satisfied about this. This is one of the important things which is very important as far as ecology and environment is concerned. The problem is that the people, those who are expert in construction, they are not expert in plantation. And they don't have that much uh, interest. That is exactly the problem. So we need to find out the appropriate agency, those who are committed only for plantation and having interest as a mission for their development, then only it can be possible. Actually, the person, those who are more specialized in construction, how we can expect them that, that they can be more professionally appropriate and up to date as far as the plantation is concerned. This is the lacuna in the policy. That is the one of the reason everywhere there is a problem. So I'm not satisfied about the plantation. We need to develop and improve the situation, particularly in this field. Development of self-sustainable smart bus ports in the country for which NHI DCL has been nominated as central executive agency by MORTH. But no work has been done in this area. There are 2000 projects which are economically viable. We can make it. Now, my idea is to make uh, in NHI two separate companies, special vehicle companies for making of uh, this uh, bus port, then for logistic part, one company, already 35 we are making. And the second thing is we can make now idea is as far as the toll income we are getting. So I have discussed with a lot of petroleum ministry. We will offer them 300, 400 sites on the road for petrol, diesel, LPG, CNG, for every type of fuel. And the land will be available from NHI or our ministry. And that pump, everything will be from their side. And we will get revenue per kg and per liter. I am expecting that we will at least get 2,000 crore from this. So this can be a great thing where we will get the money from income from all the things. Whatever the income on the highway, everywhere it is now we need to have all type of income will come to NHI on the road. Then it can be, it can improve the economic viability. So we are working on this line. Development of GPS based toll collection system, which will remove all toll plaza in future. We want to make it within two years. This can be really a great thing for the country. The seamless traffic, no toll laka. You don't need to stop anywhere. And that is exactly the, our final target is for that. We are promoting use of new alternative material in road construction. This is most important thing. These cement manufacturer and steel manufacturer are making cartels. They are the black marketers. They are exploiting the situation. And now I am constantly working on that line that in Maharashtra, we are making one bridge in Latur using steel fiber, by which we can reduce the cost of bridges by 20, 25%. So we can use steel fiber. Then we have taken decision about the steel procurement that as far as the standards which we have, whenever, whatever the steel company is going to complete their standards, we will purchase steel from them. So already we remove all type of obstacle in that particular in the scheme. So that exactly the small people of steel rolling mill, they will get opportunity if their material is up to the standard. The second important thing is now we are thinking to use that carbon steel, steel fiber. Already in Badoda, Reliance has opening one factory. And now I have discussion with them. They are giving me the two, uh, complete presentation. So we are working on that line. The most important thing for all engineers to think on the line, if we can add steel fiber in road concrete uh, either we can make pre slab pre-constructed slab concrete slab in the factory 
and by using of that then we can reduce the cost at the same time plastic fiber also we can use and my idea is now we are already started the experiment for crash barrier in place of that we can use bamboo bamboo is a very strong fiber material and uh, we take it 1 meter under the under the land and making concrete there 2 meter pole will a hole will be there and by making drilling to the bamboo we can use uh, this uh, a jute or wire rope 1 inch or 1 and 1/2 inch for that and we can make a beautiful design of it already i have given this project to iits and engineering colleges my idea is to we are spending 4000 crore on crash barrier in place of that we will make this the 2000 km 2000 per km cost for steel crash barrier and this cost will come to 400 to 450 km uh, meter per uh, that can be a great saving for us and we can create job for in agriculture and rural area we are promoting use of new alternative material in road construction use of flash waste plastic and rubber there is also the modified vitamin given by this uh, uh, vitamin companies they are also they are not giving good cooperation now i am thinking to allow import for vitamin because without that this uh, oil company will not we will need to teach them lesson by which they can be competitive and adding of 10% waste plastic and rubber in the bitumen we can that mo that modifying bitumen we are now thinking on the line that whether it is possible to make it mandatory use of this type of bitumen the problem is that when we are discussed with the oil company their rate is costly compare with the other bitumen actually the plastic waste and rubber waste rate is less than 12, 12 rupees or maximum 12 to 15 rupees less than that and actually bitumen rate is 45 rupees so there is a saving for them but they are giving the higher rates and that is exactly the problem is there we need to find out some solution with the people who are unreasonably exploiting the situation we need to take some action against it and actually create more competition in the field that is exactly the line on which we are working uh the government authority shall not revise the contract price nor share the money benefits of contract in use of new materials and technology we are allowing to the people that using of all new technology but the contractors are not using it is not because of the contractor are responsible for it is the our independent engineer i am always call them dependent engineer those who are working on only the guideline of our engineer they are name as dependent nahi independent independent engineer and they are the person who are responsible for that so we have decided to make project management consultancy it is already in the final stage now from project more than 200 crore actually we need pmc and for less than 200 crore we can make independent engineer system but independent engineer model is a totally failure model i don't know why nhi select this and why they have too much love and affection for this 70 80 year people who are not at all capable to make any good uh, service to the country and for the report why we are insisting them only i know the reason what they are interested in what they are doing so this is to be the system we need to change for that regarding a uh, defect liability period whenever any technology which is adopted by the contractor with his own risk if he giving assurance for defect liability period as far as the existing system by which he is giving the defect liability period on the same way is ready we are very flexible and for that reason i will request all of you to take the all new technology new innovation new research successful practices in the world and using of different material you come to india and take it good consultant and do it whatever the benefit actually first there was a debate and among the file it was written that the benefit which is getting to the contractor the nhi the ministry says what this is our benefit i say what is your benefit when the new person who is taking initiative in it for new technology total benefit will go to the contractor so now we have taken a decision so there is no problem it will be your benefit knowing the importance of this here my ministry has initiated national road safety month where i will urge all stakeholders to work sensibly in road safety mission the most important thing i always call them the culprit who are making dpr they are the main culprit 
in this road accidents. There are a lot of mistakes. Majority retired officers from the government they started their companies for making DPR and they are not giving good services. So today, two days before we have taken a decision that before the DPR approval going to the committee under the secretary, before that RO, it makes mandatory to him to visit on the site and check the thing. And after his report, then it will go to the secretary level committee. This is very important. We should have very serious about it. Underpass, the lot of junctions we are creating accidental spots. This is not good. Every year we have 5 lakhs accidents and 1 lakh 50,000 deaths, even more than COVID. So this is a shameful thing for the country. And now we decided to reduce the death and accident by 50% before 2025. Actually, I signed the agreement in Sweden that before 30, 2030, we will reduce 50% accident and 15% death. The most important thing that Tamil Nadu government with the cooperation of World Bank, they reduce road accident and death by 52%. So I request all of you to accept the Tamil Nadu model where we can save the life of the people. Correction of about 5,800 5, identified black spot on national highway and implementation of safety measures to save life of the people in road accident is the priority of my ministry. There is no system for uh, signages, perfection in it. There is a lot of mistakes are there. Then there is no perfect marking on the road. No signages, there is no perfect. Actually, somewhere we need some scientific study by which for every project, we need to think seriously about this road furniture of international standard. Now, presently, the people are working uh, with negligence. That is not good. Where we need to give training for new engineers, actually, one of international standard to achieve this goal. Road safety audits were completed. Already now I have decided to give this audit to IITs, engineering colleges, government IIT engineering college on every district where we can take help from them. So even the engineering college new students also they will get experience and something remuneration stipend for their, their work and they can understand the practical problems. In Maharashtra, we have carried out an innovative project known as Buldana pattern. I will request you, particularly in the country, the Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. We are facing acute water problem. The Maharashtra government has issued one notification by which we are making dressing of road and rivers across the road free of cost and taking that aggregate material for using of road construction by which the buldana pattern is one of the successful thing. We are already in Maharashtra, we are making 170 road bridges uh, from uh, road uh, bridges come barrage, bridges with barrage. That is we are doing exactly, uh, again I will request Manoj Kumarji to you making of this Mumbai Delhi highway. Please think about this water conservation because this is very important. This is the duty of the government, welfare government, to make water available to the poor people. And agriculture also, it is going to increase the production by two times. So some of the area where we don't have water, there is a big problem. In Buldana district, our ministry is doing excellent job. And that there are 28,000 wells are recharged. And where they get only one hour water from the well, now they are getting 20 hours, 24 hour water. The irrigation is increased, migration is stopped, and total socio-economic impact is very good. I will request all of you that think about water conservation. Don't wale pani ko chalne ke liye lagao, chalne wale pani ko rukne ke liye lagao, aur ruke huye pani ko jameen ko peene ke liye lagao. Gao ka pani gao mein, khet ka pani khet mein, ghar ka pani ghar mein. And this is a win-win situation. We will get aggregate free of charge. And Maharashtra government notification is already there. I am always requesting all the state government to on the same line. If they can issue the notification, it can resolve the water problem in their state. In Maharashtra, the Buldana pattern is now accepted by Niti Ayo. And now they are planning to make the policy on that basis. It's really very, very important. 
my ngo has received global award international award for this i am working constantly in this water conservation in my area in vidarbha where we have maximum former suicides existing water bodies are used the excavated material soil in road construction work by redesigning of the jojila tunnel project this is also a important case study where i will request you for all of you and by utilizing the excavated rock material in construction of approach road and also by using the relaxing the technical and financial norms the one year our all dg and all people we take the uh, quite serious efforts on it and we save the four times tender was there and the fifth tender we save the cost of 5000 crore in this project this is, can be a history and now by I, we are trying to make 10000 acre of land there near kargil and we want to make a city like dahos there where we want to put all our excavated material there by which we want to plan a good city that can create employment potential in the dark layer and kashmir we are working to bring about an integrated road map and create opportunities for alternative fuels like electricity bio cng lng biodiesel ethanol methanol hydrogen fuel cell for auto industry and supporting infrastructure present it would save huge import expense on petrol presently we have import of 8 lakh crore of fossil fuel so 100% this is very important for next 5 years this import will go up to 18 lakh crore so now this is the time for country to diversify agriculture towards energy and power sector we have just 10 days before launch a tractor diesel tractor convert into bio cng and making bio cng from biomass that is perly cotton straw wheat straw rice straw bagasse so this can be really a good thing we are lng is the fuel for the future in nagpur under my consultancy one project has already started i am going to inaugurate and one of the transporter he is converting his 2000 trucks on lng so there is a cost of 12 lakh rupees per truck but he is getting his cost back within 2 years this is the economics it is import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous so this is also one of the important thing where we need to work on it our government is working on fast track construction of roads bridges tunnels in the hilly area leh ladakh jammu and kashmir uttarakhand himachal and north eastern state for defense strategies and tourism development point of view road connectivity bring the socio economic development of 115 aspirant district rural tribal and agriculture areas various clusters handloom leather textile toys etc would be extensively along the economic corridors and migration would be stopped two days before we have launched 50 clusters creating employment for 44000 youth in that area in the different state this is exactly we need to develop logistic park industrial cluster to road side development is very important we need to adopt the policy by which making the road if we can catch that cash that profits particularly we are getting by selling of the land making of industrial cluster logistic park and make the project economically viable this is very important in addition to public investment highways is one of the most effective ways of powerly eradication of country through improved economic growth it is estimated that 1240 people can be lifted out to poverty with rupees 1 crore investment in highway infrastructure investment in highway infrastructure drives growth in several allied sectors such as cement steel and construction equipment the construction equipment turnover is now double in the covid period they are getting good response because the road construction is increased i always tell to the people about the american president bagus uh, the famous statement john kennedy statement that american roads are not good because america is rich but america is rich because american roads are good our government may very much supportive and committed for all round and all inclusive development a collective effort of all stakeholders have bring remarkable improvement in our country's economic growth last point is now the prime minister is given a rule change in rule of business giving us as a ministry of road transport with ropeway cable car fanapro railway public transport on electricity light rail transport with uh, the broad gauge and meter gauge that is not with us that is with the railway but the other public transport electricity is with us now the land is available in mumbai and delhi if the hyperloop is ready any new technology anyone is ready we can offer land from tomorrow there is no problem because the land is there 120 meter width of that road 
is there so my suggestion is now it is the time for the country to convert our transport on electricity it is public transport which is very important now this is the time after within five five years we want to make india a automobile manufacturing hub in the world now present our turnover is 450000 crore our export is 140000 crore our two wheeler industry has increased their production 120 times more and the bajaj evs and hero they are exporting 50% of their production so we have a huge potential to make e vehicle e bike e scooters e cars e buses and even now e trucks and also i have launched the jcb of uh, on cng my idea is to use JC, uh, jcb on cng bio cng where cng will get it from the agriculture it is going to reduce the pollution the import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous the ethics economy ecology and environment both things are important i feel that for the economy point of view for indigenous fuel we need to work more for that we already our contractors engineers are very competent we have make a world record on mumbai delhi highway that is 2.5 kilometer of four lane cement concrete road completed within 24 hour really we have got all ability and particularly the competency for making roads of international standard quality is very important without compromise with the quality we need to reduce the cost because the cost is very high all the stakeholders in this sector they need to concentrate more that how we can save the cost how we can reduce the cost and how we can improve the quality exactly this is the field which is going to contribute for the growth of our country so i am giving my best wishes to all of you for this reason with your cooperation 100% we will transform india and i am seeing the dream that within 5 years india infrastructure will like usa uk germany and japan 100% i am confident that we will get the infrastructure of that standard and that is going to change the future of our country to make india as atmanirbhar bharat the dream of our prime minister and making number one global, global economy in the world because the water power transport and communication these are the three four important keys for the progress and now because of development in infrastructure 100 percent we will reduce the logistic cost we will compete on international uh, standard global economy with our products by reducing the cost of the product reducing the logistic cost we will be more competitive to create more export for the country and we need to find out the import, whatever the thing which we are importing, about the machinery and other thing, we need to make in India and made in India to make all type of machinery in the country. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you. Thank you, Nitin Gadkariji. I think uh, you have very comprehensively addressed all the, most of the areas that people needed your guidance uh, and inspiration on. We have a couple of questions that if we may uh, put to you. Uh, you can ask me. So, sir, as you mentioned, now this national infrastructure pipeline has nearly 20 trillion odd, uh, you know, crores, uh, 20 trillion investments for roads, of which around 25% would probably come from the private capital. Now, it's important that private capital needs to be attracted, and that is your asset monetization plan as well. But don't you think uh, we need some reforms even on the contracts like FIDIC contract, now international contract, uh, then, you know, dispute, dispute resolution, because a lot of these projects, when you gather the speed, we should not have a situation where, again, we have situation like stuck projects. So we have to have a smooth and seamless takeoff as well as from here. Already regarding the arbitration and conciliation, we are moving fast. You can check the performance of NHI from last six months. I am constantly pursuing this. And we are now formulating the mechanism. We will resolve the issues. And already many of the issues has already sorted out. Uh, you are important. It is a very important point because as far as international expectation is concerned, we need to improve the system. So we have to make a lot of changes in our system. And we are constantly pursuing the thing. Whatever the problem in the system is there, please present us. We, will, we are positive and we will try to resolve that. We are making the lot of uh, 
uh, innovation and new new transformation in the administrative setup of NHI because we need to change a lot of things there. So actually from taking people from uh, the state government and from the other department, starting from that, even in the system, we need to take a lot of changes there. So we are working on that line. Regarding almost 18% of the rupees 111 lakh crore national infrastructure pipeline spending, that is 20 lakh crore is identified for road sector in the next five years. Given the private capital related initiative like TOT, INVIT, asset management, etc., will contribute significant part of 20 lakh crore. And what are the key reforms that you are planning to attract in the private capital? We are also working on that line. Uh, actually, an amount of 18,000 crore is targeted through asset monetization, INVIT and TOT. Already, we have a lot of good models. One of the model is also actually, I am pursuing it, that with the bank, 30 years, we monetize the road, which is already constructed, construction is completed, and bank will monetize it and give us the money for us. So the money is not the problem. The total problem in the system is some of the people who are negative, some of the people who are not taking decision. We need transparency, time-bound decision-making process, corruption-free system, and quality consciousness. And time is the important thing. I always tell to the people that people who are getting the salary every month at the first, they never understand the importance of time. And making delays, that is going to be a big problem. So without delay, we have to take the fast decisions. And taking decisions, our officers need good support from the uh, ministry also. I always supporting the people for taking the decisions. So a lot of things are now improving. That is the reason that there are good people also who are contributing. They are working day and night. And that is the reason that we are now achieving this goal of 40 kilometers per day. It is not only my credit. It is the credit of all engineers, all officers, all people are working as a team. And because of their teamwork, we are getting the result. So the things are moving. There are already a lot of changes are there. And every day we are trying to change the things. So this is the continuous process. And for the good future, we need this continuous process of socioeconomic transformation, where we need to make administrative reform changing the rules and regulation. So we are on the track. If you have any good suggestion, kindly give to us. If you convince us, we will do it and we will change the law. So design of roads, like you rightly said, is one of the major causes for which is coming, which has caused us to drop down in terms of ranks on safety. And now that you're mentioning that you are focusing on that, uh, you know, in Tamil Nadu case study, which you highlighted, obviously they are able to detect areas where, but I think the audit of the, therefore the roads and you know, like you've started this benchmarking of highway awards as well, so that you can benchmark which, who's doing better work than the other in terms of quality design and all that can really, you know, inspire people to do the best. Actually, we need to classify that. I mean, because as far as the new technology, new designs and innovation, after my six year experience, I am coming to conclusion. The present system people are not going to change. So now we have decided to appoint. Actually, yesterday I have a long discussion with the secretary. And now I'm going to discuss with NHI chairman also. And we are going to appoint a committee from the private sector. And we have already selected some names. One of the Venkat Raman from LNT, we are requesting him. Then uh, Sabnis from Maharashtra PWD he was working with me on Varli Bandra Sea Bridge uh, ceiling at that time. Then one name was suggested me from the secretary, that is with the uh, Bengali name is there. Is from some company. So now if you have any good expert, outstanding, genius, and intelligent, experienced people who can have a study research of international standards, kindly send a name to me. We are going to be formulate a, bo a body for that, making of quality construction, reduce the cost, designing, and everything. And that can be a 
a independent separate section under nhi where we will offer them all type of facilities and full time they can even work they can advise and by which we will adopt their or whatever the suggestion to the ministry on the basis of that we will take the decision because i am coming to conclusion that present system it is very difficult to change them mai abhi haar gaya hu inko sudharne mein to mai abhi apna samay kharab nahi karta so we should take the new iit people and good people so if you have any good people name please suggest me we will constitute a committee giving authority to them for designing and for quality norms making of bridges adopting new technology and other thing also regarding road safety audit also it's a big thing so uh, we are also have lot of problem with dpr we need to take lot of stern action against the people who are making the this dpr they are really we are facing big problem for that and they are the culprit because of road accidents and because of the deaths of the people somewhere from sanages to uh, safety measures to even for all type of road marking everywhere we need to change lot of thing to make it of international standards we are very light and not very serious about all this thing this is not a good indication because of the accidents we are facing crucial problem and it is the time for the country to have to take the stern action and to resolve this problem is very important so while you have uh, stated that steel and cement prices are rising and therefore the industry is getting hurt which is correct and, and you have allowed a lot more supply to come in for uh, this these purposes we'll have to also keep a watch on the quality and you mentioned that it, it should meet with the quality guidelines the bureau of indian standards but there should be some process by which this quality is definitely tested before it is being used uh, otherwise we might have built so, so much of infrastructure and quality might suffer actually we probably i don't know but we issue the notification and as far as the indian standards those uh, manufacturer have already completed that standards you can check the material and if it is up to that standard you can use it actually we want to break the monopoly of the big people i am very much against this cartelization of the steel and cement even i got or you are i will request you use soil stabilization use plastic fiber in concrete use steel fiber in concrete reduce the use of cement in the concrete and once upon a time i was advocating and i was giving instruction to the ministry that making all cement road but because of this cartelization i decided now i am not going to insist that make cement road it is only because of the attitude of this industry and without any reason they increase the cost same thing happening with the steel i am requesting to the prime minister i have constantly in contact with the ministry finance ministry and the pmo that regarding the export of pallets export of iron ore 12 million ton of uh, pallets we are exporting we should stop that and if suppose these people are not going to listen somewhere we need to take regulated authority for them to fix their prices otherwise pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana is we are pradhan mantri avas yojana we are facing crucial problem then uh, msme lot of msme even more than covid they are facing the problem because of rise in the price of the steel because it is a core material so these are the problem we need to find out the some way out for that otherwise it will be very difficult for the small people to survive thank you sir thank you very much for your time i think you have uh, quite uh, elaborately answered all our questions and we will send you suggestions uh, which come as a in the conclusion of this uh, discussion and thank you very much for your time